All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a TV diagram from data tables. These come from thermodynamics and engineering approach. Went ahead and copy and pasted the first part of the data. Let's put in some of these headers. I'm not gonna worry about the formatting or anything. These are just for us right now. Uh, so no superscripts or subscripts, don't have to worry about those. Um, uh, I typed the wrong V, not worrying about that either. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the second part of this table because it goes all the way to the critical point. So let's uh, get that second one on the second page and uh, paste that in down below. Um, great, so we have the whole table. We don't need any of these other ones right now. We're just gonna do temperature, pressure, and specific volumes of the liquid and of the gas. Of course, you could leave in those specific enthalpies and entropies if you wanted. Um, we're gonna make a copy, so we'll leave the one from the table. Now we're gonna massage this data to be for a chart. Um, I am not gonna need the pressures. Those are dependent variables. Let's just get rid of those. Um, and so here we go, we've got uh, this set of data. I'm gonna copy and paste it a second time. And you'll see why in a second, so I can construct the whole table, get rid of the V sub G's from the first one, get rid of the V sub F's from the second one. So my top half is my V sub F's, my bottom half is my V sub G's, the specific uh, volumes of the gas. And I'm just gonna reverse the order of those so that they come to the same critical point and then go back down. Of course, I don't need that point in there twice. I'll get rid of that. Uh, went ahead and bolded the critical point. We'll add in um, uh, some labels and also change the V and the F uh, to be X and Y because we want uh, V to be the X axis. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead I don't know if I'm gonna use these at all, but let's let's just put in that those are the V sub Fs, that uh, these are the V sub Gs, um, uh, just so I don't get it wrong later. I might use them. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and just label this the critical point. Again, don't know if anyone else is gonna see these on the chart. Let's give it a, um, uh, uh, you know, make it a little bit prettier so we know what units there are. Um, give it a title, um, saturated, uh, tables, or it's the TV diagram for saturated water, so let's just call it that, or maybe saturated H2O. Um, and uh, make those bold, even though I mean, it's possible no one will see those. Uh, now we're ready to go ahead and insert a, a chart. We want a, a scatter chart here, XY. Um, that might not look like what you expect it to look like. I'm going to go ahead and move it up to the top, just because that's where it makes sense for me um, to be looking at. Uh, but the problem is, is that we're going to really need to put this on a log scale to be able to see this. So let's switch it to log. And now we need to move that y-axis back. There's no more zero, so we'll move it to 0 0.00001 or something. Um, chart title, set it equal to that one. I like, instead of typing titles and axes, I like to set them equal to cells so I can change those cells later and it'll automatically change the axis. So we'll set that equal to the t's and that one equal to the specific volumes. Great. And now that I've done that, I don't know, I'm feeling like I want the units to look better on my chart. You know what? I actually have another presentation on how to insert special symbols. Let's just cheat and insert those. Um, let's grab this cube symbol. Just cheating this way it shows up in the chart because apparently I really wanted to. Um, so there we go. We have just generated our own TV diagram for saturated water. And this is a good place to end. Unless, of course, you're feeling like you want color. So just in case you want more, let's go ahead and um, uh, make this into really three separate charts. So we'll grab those V sub Gs. Um, so just going to grab all those V sub G, set the X axis um, and, uh, and the, the Y axis. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add a series for um, the uh, entire thing. And I'm sorry that... I might be going a little too fast here and it's kind of off to the side. Um, really all I'm doing is making it so it's pretty. I'm gonna add a third chart just for the critical point. Uh, um, and then that'll allow me to, you could have gone in and colored each of these your individually, but now I can just color each data series. So I got blue, red, orange. Um, I don't know, that might be a little silly. Let's make it even sillier. I'm gonna add an entire chart. Um, of the whole thing again. And, uh, and that's gonna allow me to put a line, a contiguous line through it, even though those are three separate graphs now. So we have our three separate graphs and then another one, let's change this from dots to just a line, make that line a little bit thinner. 
And uh, of course, this was all just extra on top, but now I have a lovely TV diagram, and so do you. Hope you enjoy it. Of course, that's a superheated region over there in the upper right. Um, I don't know what else to say. Let's move this to its own chart. Boom, there we go. Just its own sheet for just the chart because it's so pretty. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed.